All right, everybody. Cody Meyer here with Jared Littner. We are back, Northern California, Shasta Lake. It is a beautiful day. Uh, this is day two. You know, day we two, uh, yeah. we got to fish yesterday. We caught a bunch of fish. I feel like, I finally feel like we're starting to figure something out. But I'm excited about today. Uh, we had a, a rainstorm come through last night, so the weather is going to be a little bit different today. Jared, it's a Jared, lot what colder do you think? this morning than yesterday. It is got a lot my gloves colder. on. Yeah, I don't know what. These are just sun uh, gloves. These, these are, are sun gloves. These are nice. Good thing I got an extra pair. But hey, those are just in case I get wet. You really don't need sun gloves in the winter time. But, <laughs> but uh, Jared, what do you think about today, man? We're gonna kind of start where we left off yesterday. I feel like, and uh, we're getting a little bit earlier of a start. These fish are hopefully pretty active in the morning. And uh, I like it, a, man. Should be a really good that day. That one today. area's got a bunch of bait in it, and then we'll go from there and go try some different stuff. Maybe a jig, maybe a crankbait. I like it. Let's do it. Let's do it. There, there he is. Oh, you have one. There he is, Jared. Got him. Yeah. What was that on? Look at, there's two of them. Dude, not a bad one. Not a bad one. Good way to start Evergreen the day. CR 13. Look at that there. Way to start the day. Dude, nice. Nice. You know, it's funny, that fish literally is in the middle of this channel. This is where we ended the day yesterday. Evergreen CR 13. And, you know, it's about 60 feet deep, and I'm winding it pretty fast through these spots. But hey, Jared. On a bag. Good start to the day, buddy. Mm hmm. There he is. Got him? Yeah. Dude, look at the bend in that rod. That's the first fish I ever caught on your rod, dude. Seven six. Yeah. That feels good, dude. Search bait rod. Dude, it's kind of like, I mean, for throwing this, I'm throwing this little rhythm wave. It's not the biggest fish, but the way it loaded up, you know what I mean? I didn't take it away from him. Yep. You know, that rod too, it's really designed for that. And when you hook them, you just don't lose them. No. I mean, it's not a big one, but fun. Let that one go. All right, Cody, I got to ask you, dude, because I, I, I think we talked about this before. So this reel that I'm throwing is SV. Yes. TWSV. Yep. And then I got another one. Uh, I think it's right there. Yes. TWSV. But So why is this one, you know, it's got the red accents. Why is that different? Like for a guy going on the tackle warehouse and he sees there's two SV TWs. Yeah. So this... This isn't actually the one. This is a CT, but oh, that's a that's a cool reel. Too. That's a CT, yeah. We'll so about that one. there's there's two Tatula SVs. You know, this is the original Tatula SV. This is what started the SV spool, the whole craze. Uh, this spool, if you're not familiar with it, when you make that cast, it uh, you, you maximize your cast, but it, it helps eliminate backlash without yeah. losing that distance. Really, really cool. Uh, that's the original. There's one. Look at that as we speak. So. Now we have a Tatula SV-103, which is the same smaller compact size like the Tatula 100. So we have both of them. They're both the uh, the same technology. You well, happen to be throwing the original. The original. Yep, but we also have the Tatula well, SV-103, smaller, more compact. Backing up to what you both said, what I've noticed, like preventing the backlash, you don't really mess with, with this. No you know with the tension knob this is where you want to control your reel yes so it's pretty much factory set so depending on the bait like if i was throwing a quarter ounce i might turn it down a little bit sure yeah we use the mag force z system yep you know that's a really really key deal like you said you know if you're throwing a small light bait uh you're going to turn it down to maybe or turn it up to maybe 20 yeah. or 18. Uh, if you're throwing something heavy you turn it down so don't make the mistake of messing with the tension knob you do not have to could, yes. yeah this and is quick, it's easy. It's efficient. On the and fly, yep. Like I say, with I like the SV spool, too. yeah, they're they're not gonna slip. But with the SV spool, you can throw light baits a long, long ways. You know, we have the new zillion with the SV spool. The key is like these small jerk baits, little baits, mm -hmm. you can really wing them out there, get maximum distance, and help you eliminate backlash. We fish for a living, yep, but we still backlash. But not with the SV spool. Uh, so I'm backlash on the daily. <laughs> not with these reels though. <laughs> now I gotta get back in there. Oh, 
fish. There he is. Got him? Yep. Look at that, right out in the middle there. It is so fun. So fun. Look at this one, nice one. Nice one, dude. The, crank, the cranker's producing a little bit better quality. Yeah, look at that. Again, throwing that Evergreen CR13. I mean, that's a good start to the day. Throwing it right out in the middle here um, of this channel. You know, this is 10 pound Daiwa J Fluoro Samurai. Uh, we'll go into the rod details, but hey, that's a that's a quality spot of bass. I and mean, look at that thing, Jared. That's you yeah, know, dude. For right now, the conditions we found them yesterday. They're in the middle of this cut. They're really related off the bottom, and uh, the only way you can really catch these fish is you know something suspended. Right now, I'm throwing the crankbait. Jared's throwing the uh, the little jackal swim bait, and it's definitely producing some bites. All right, man, got that little guy. It's just a little ball head, again, the three-eighths. And what's interesting is I was throwing a silver shad rhythm wave. I switched over to a sexy shad color, and almost every throw I'm getting bit. Look how fat that one is. But, uh, you know, a lot of people think, you know, bait caster, um, bait caster, you know, you gotta throw a heavy line. I'm throwing eight pound Sniper FC um, on a bait caster. Like we talked about the original TWSV Daiwa reel, seven, three to one. I'm letting it hit the bottom and I'm just slowly kind of cranking it and they're like nipping at it and I'll just feed it back to them. So I don't, I'm not taking it away from them. If I miss one, I'll just kind of, you know, drop the line and, you know, feed it back to them and they'll pick it up again. So it's pretty fun, Cody. Yeah, this is a blast. Look at the fish down there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there he is. A rig. A rig. What about that? That's kind of fun. He bit it like five times. Look at the biggest bait we've thrown. Smallest fish. <laughs> fun though. I mean, That's this this is. So yeah, set up for an A-rig here. Dude, they're just everywhere. Look at it, he bit the white one too, the middle one. One that stands out. Got him. Need to get a little bit bigger. There he is. Right underneath the boat, dude. Yeah, I can see him. Dude. Woo. I might have might have foul hooked that one. Did you? I don't know. You get him? Yep, I told you, you just felt weird. I've been running into him though. There, yeah, there's so many down Look how there. How white that fish is. They're just they gotta streak through that. He's long. Look how long he is. Yeah. that CR 13 that one really choked it you know the deal with this crankbait guys is um, you know I'm fishing it suspended some of this stuff is over 50 feet of water you know where you typically don't throw a crankbait and uh, you know when you think about throwing a crankbait you think about keeping bottom contact bumping bottom right now I'm throwing it out there I'm burning this thing down on that 10 pound test and then I'm stopping it. And, and the reason I'm stopping it is you're causing that bait to, you know, to stop, to, to move around and get that reaction strike. Um, and also my retrieve for 49 degree water temp is pretty fast. And really these fish are sitting down a little bit deeper in the water column. So I'm drawing them up and having that fast retrieve, that stop and go uh, retrieve of that crankbait and getting these things to really trigger that. And another nice spot of bass here to start the day. There he is. 
Hey, you know what's cool? Is uh, playing around with this DX swim bait rod. So really economical rod, um, but I really like it. Um, this is the heavy action. They make it extra heavy. So if I was throwing like a big hug or big, big swim bait. Yeah. But for throwing this lighter A rig right here, it's the deal, you know. You can see the, the length of the rod butt there. So when I'm winding it, it's really natural to have that support right here next to your ribs. So when you set, you know, you got a complete package. And that's very important when you're throwing a a rig or a big bigger swim bait or something like that. And then uh, pairing that with a regular Tatula 200. Um, this is a 6.3 to 1 gear ratio, 20 pound shooter. But I like this 200 size. It just feels more natural. Like you got this big rod, you want a bigger reel, holds more line, um, and it casts this thing a mile. So Bigger handle too. Yeah, bigger handle. I mean, that's very, very important. Um, like I said, this is the heavy action, so you can see the bend there. It's not like a broomstick. Like if I was throwing, like I said, you know, a big mag trout or, or a big, you know, six, seven inch or seven ounce bait, you want that, you have to throw a heavier rod. So the extra heavy would be perfect for that, but I'm just throwing the DX swim bait rod, heavy action, eight foot. This is fun, dude. Hey, really a one-two punch. You know, we're throwing a crankbait, A-rig, you know, you've been throwing the, the single swim or two. Single swim. I mean, you're kind of covering all water depths. He's going to the bottom, bringing it through. I'm kind of cranking over the top. And uh, yeah, that's man, interesting, it's been, huh? been a good Like I'm letting so it hit the bottom out there in 35 to 45, and you're, you're fishing that bait from 20 foot up. Up, uh, yeah, so really that's suspended. That's fish are in here, it's yeah, crazy. This is awesome. That's so fun, dude. I just wish they were bigger. They're still fun, though. Dude, that's crazy, though. I mean, I started off with that silver shad color on the single. No bites. I switched to the sexy shad color, put that on the A-rig, and every time they're, cat they're getting bit on that. Dude, I'm Isn't that weird? I'm about to put a, a swim bait on, Jared. No. You stick with your cranker. I'm having fun over here. <laughs> Last thing I need is for you to get hot. <laughs> Look at that. Dude, they kept missing the, the rig and we kind of educated him a little bit. Yep. I put on this little little 2.8 on a quarter ounce ball head, spinning rod, seven pound line, first throw. You know, they've really, Jared, for what I've seen, you know, I started off with the crankbait and these fish have really gone down in the water yeah. column. You know, they're they're down the bottom, you're getting bit on the A-rig. I was really fishing the upper part, part of the water column and now they're transitioning down to the bottom. I really think we're starting to figure these fish out uh, where they're gonna be, you know, so. Yeah, you're right. I mean, when we started on the pan optics, you can see them way up high and now they're like more sucked down and I think that's just because we're, we're uh, putting a lot of pressure on putting them. Putting a lot of pressure, but like I say, these fish, they've definitely moved down. Uh, it's been a great start from the morning, really. Yeah, you know, a lot of fish, some nice quality fish too for, for this time of the year. You know, Lake Shasta, it's fishing tough, but we found a lot of fish. They're on the bait. Think there's some bigger ones in here? I know there's some bigger ones. You know, this is a historically really good area on Shasta. There's some bigger fish. You know, make sure if you guys, you guys like this vlog, like, share, tag a friend, uh, and see what we do. Check back in next week, yep. see what we do next to keep catching fish and catching bigger fish. And don't forget about the gear giveaway. Uh, somebody's gonna get some nice stuff, man. So I think we should stick it out in here and see if there's a three or four or five pounder in here. Let's do it, man. All right.